wherever you may be, just start to feel the connection of the earth to your body. Little anchors and the heels, with this little pinky side of the feet. Let the tongue get really heavy. Allow the eyes to just relax in the back of the head. And jaw slack. And then empty everything out of your lungs and then squeeze the belly in. And on the inhale, we take that beautiful breath all the way up and we hold. And then we just sip in just a bit more and let it go. Again, compress the belly. And then breath rises all the way up. To the top. Option to take that little bit more, really opening the lungs, opening the ribs, and then exhale. And this last one, we breathe in completely. Hold for three, two, one, and let it go. We settle into our ujjayi. Drawing that breath to push any little thoughts out of your mind. Clearing the headspace. Focusing on nothing but you right now for the next 59 minutes. Setting any intention. My intention for this week for my classes was just release the stress. So just giving the stress those little wings and let it go. Let's gently rock the head right and left, back of the head. If your knees are out to the side, close your knees. If legs are extended long, everyone meets me with the right shin in. And then the left. Good morning, ladies. And a slow little rock right and left. Hi, Karen. Hi, Marianne. Let's close those eyes once again. Let's take those egg beaters, knee, hands on top of the knees, and let's just reverse them out gently. Slowly, moving through a little slower in this practice today and really focusing on some nice deep stretches. We did a really big, heavy cardio class on Tuesday. Reverse them out gently. And please know that I'm still recovering from hip replacement. So there may be some things I cannot do. Last round. And then bring your forehead to your knees. Shoulders lift off the mat. Really dome through the upper spine. We take a tight breath here. Let it go. On the inhale, arms reach overhead. Extend the legs long. Let's hover those heels a few inches. Now point those toes, really reach those fingers in opposite directions and exhale, close as you back in. Let's take that again. Two more times, inhale, we reach, create that length. Exhale, take the back in. Last time, open and breathe. And then come back into that little ball, drop the back of the head on the mat. And let's extend the feet up to the sky. Right, then left. Now flex those toes, hamstrings might be a little bit tight. And take your left hand either on your left, right big toe or the right hamstring, right hand on the earth and just take a little side twist here, a little twist. And then open and breathe, point the toes, lower the heels. Bring it straight back up, flex the toes towards your face. Right hand crosses over to that left ankle and just reach it out. Maybe the toe. And then deep breath in, arms extend, toes lengthen. And then exhale, bring it back into that little ball. Little gentle sway, right and left. As we tee out the arms, just gently drop your knees to the right. Let's start to get those little pops out of the back. Let that left shoulder hover for this round. One more breath here. Engage in the belly as you bring it back to center. Deep breath, just tick tock them over towards the left. Right shoulder lifted off. 
And just find your breath, any other intention you have for your class. Deep breath here. Exhale, brings it back. My darlings, let's start to rock and roll up and down the length of our spine three times. And then I meet us in Sukhasana pose, easy seated pose. And then move everything away. Let's roll those shoulders down and back and then hands on the knees, deep breath in, the head tips back. Now open that heart space, bend those elbows, bring it forward and then chin to chest, hollow out the belly, seated cat cow pause. So I want that doming, my darlings. Just push those shoulders, getting into those upper traps. I know you both work at home. And let's glide it forward, gaze up, look up. And then exhale, exaggerated, ha. Little pushes right and little pushes left. Last round, rise it up. And exhale, to let it go. Take those little movements. I encourage it. And let's restack the spine. Roll the shoulders down and back, and on the inhale, arms extend up to the sky. Take your right index finger and thumb on your left wrist. Let's pull it up and then take it over towards the right. And just feel that stretch. And then breath in, reach it a little further. Let's come back to center, fingertips up to the sky, the inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, we cactus it out. And then arms reach out opposite side, grab onto that right wrist. Now really lift it up and now take it over. Back to center. Slow breath here, exhale, we cactus. Focusing a lot on twists and releasing that stress. Left hand, right knee, right fingertips behind you on that little, those little tented fingers. Now press into the right fingertips to lengthen through the spine and then exhale, look over that right shoulder. One more breath in, finding length. Exhale, releasing. Let's come back to center, arms sweep up. Exhale, we open. Arms extend, right, left knee, all the way behind. Stretch and reach and breathe it in. Lengthen and breathe and then twist it just a little further. Welcome those little, mo those little sounds in the body. Back to center. I want to get into those hips early. Let's take our feet, hip, I mean, sorry, soles of the feet wide. So more of a diamond shape. Hands on the shins, nice long spine. Dip the head back, honor that throat chakra, speaking our truth, send that energy there. And then chin to chest, let's just slowly forward, fold and walk forward. Let that cervical spine hang and just shake it a little yes and a little no. Maybe you begin to walk a little further, but take this easy, we're still early. And then slow shake no. Gently walk your hands back up, gather your ankles and bring them closer so we're in a little butterfly pose. And then just mindfully pull those knees down, bring it up, chin to chest. Let's take a slow neck roll all the way around. And then we gently reverse it out. And let's just close our knees. Extend the arms and both toes. We're level one on our toes, level 290, level three up. We just hold for here. Now really bring that navel to the spine. Hold it here, my darlings. Pull those shoulders back and let's just lower down halfway, Ardha Navasana, and zips it straight back up. There we go. Let's take that two more times. Lower down and up. And last one. And bring it up. Let's recross at the ankles. Meet me in that tabletop pose. As we spread those hands really wide, we move those hips a little right and a little left. As we soften the belly down, we bring the heart forward. Pull those shoulders down, create space in the ears. And then gently press it away. You know me. Let's move those hips right and then left. 
and then come back to center, belly softens. We bring it through, bend into those elbows and then squeeze those elbows for me. And then press it away. Little hips, right and left. There we go. And let's come back to center. We did this on Monday, or yeah, Monday night, and I love these. So extend the right sole of the foot up to the sky. Just a little baby pulses up. Let's just get those little glute muscles warmed up slightly. Here we go. Just for three, two, and one. Now slowly on the inhale, bring your knee in. Don't through your upper spine. Now, see that little kitty cat back? That's what I want. Shift your shoulders past your fingertips and then lower down chaturanga. Maybe forehead hits the mat, doesn't matter if it does. We press straight back up and that leg comes back up. Flex those toes down. Let's take that again. Slowly just burning out those abs. And then lower down chaturanga, honoring yourself. We push it straight back up. Let's take that one last time. Firing up the arms, getting working every little muscle in our body. And I meet with that right sole of the foot on the mat. Fire hydrant out that leg and give me those big circles. Get into that hip joint. And let's reverse them out. And then return that right knee to the earth. Tap the tops of your feet on the mat. Now press those hands into the earth. Press the tops of the feet into the earth and then hover those knees two inches. Now really push your tailbone down. I know, a little core work. For three, two, and one. Listen to the change. Step the left foot back and I want you to press in that left ball mount and feel that stretch. And then extend that right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. And let's bend that knee again and stack that hip and roll it up. And then reverse it out for me. Two more rotations. And extend that right leg long. We bring it through our knee to nose. Let's step it through low lunge. And let's plant that left palm, twist it out, right arm reaches up to the sky. And today we're gonna take this little, little half bind. So bend into that right elbow and roll the left shoulder down and back. Now press that left heel towards the back of the room. Can you sink down a little deeper? Beautiful. One more breath here. Extend the arm back up. Sweep it back. As we drop down to that left knee, we just rise up into our engine. Gentle and beautiful and easy movements this morning. Slow breath in. And I want you to imagine you're holding a ball. And slow breath out. On the inhale, take that ball behind you as you lean forward. And then back to center as you suck your belly in. Take that again. Back and open. This just opens into the collarbone space a little bit more this morning. And back. We take our vertical twist. And then deep breath here. Right hand back. Left arm up. Now let's take that exaltation. Really reach, reach, reach. As we cartwheel the arms down, if you have blocks, beautiful. If you don't, stay up onto your fingertips. Move the blocks back under the shoulders and let's straighten, take a little hamstring stretch here as you fold, fold. Now mindfully pull that right hip back for me. Let's come up halfway, let's keep that gaze down though. So the neck is straight. And then melt it down a little bit further. And shake the head no and yes. And let's re-bend into the knee. Blocks go to the top. Tuck the left toes. Lift the left knee. Step it back to plank. Now option to come to our knees. Inhale, we hinge forward. We lower down halfway chaturanga. Lift the feet, straighten the arms, urdhva mukha. Let's pause here. Dip the hips to the left, look over that right shoulder. Back to center. Take it over towards the left. Look over the left, dip to the right. Back to center. Now really drag your heart space through. Deep breath here. Roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. Let's take a moment. Just paddle the legs. And bending right and left. And let's drop back down to those knees. We soften the belly. We gaze up. And then exhale. We press the earth away. 
Let's come back to neutral. Left shoulder foot extends up to the sky. We bend that left knee. Just tiny little pulses. And all I want you to do is just contract the glute. That is what's making that lift. Just for three, two, and one. Now slowly bring that knee in. Squeeze those elbows. Let's lower it down. Fix it straight back up. Point that left toe and reach. Maybe take that little back bend. We take that in very slowly. Take it down. Back up. And then up again. Take that one more time. We lower it down. Back up again. There we are. Now fire hydrant out that knee and give me those little circles, little doggy circles. And then reverse it out. And then drop the left knee back underneath the left hip. Tap the top to the feet. Now ground the tops of the feet down. Lift those knees. Push the crown of your head towards me. Step the foot back and then feel that stretch. And then extend the left leg up to the sky. Bend and stack once again. Three big circles. And then we reverse them out. And then left leg lift. Knee to nose. Step it through low lunge. Plant the right hand down, left arm reaches up. We take that beautiful side twist. Straighten that right leg, let's take that half bind. Roll the shoulder down and back, gaze up. Can you sink down just a bit more, but keep that left knee in the midline as well. One more breath, left arm extends. Left arm sweeps down, drop down to the right knee. And we rise up into our arms to neck. Spread the distance, grab that imaginary ball. Inhale, we lunge forward, take the ball behind. Exhale, bring it to center. Take that again, breath in and up. Last two and last one. This breath here, exhale, we cast it. Arms reach up. Take that vertical twist over towards the left. Reach those fingertips even further for me. Breath in, exhale, exaltation. Left hand back of the right. Right arm reaches up and over. We gently windmill down. We grab those blocks if we have them. If we don't, we just simply straighten that left leg and we fold, fold. Letting the cervical spine hang. And then find that length on the inhale. And then fold, fold a little further. And gently rebend into that left knee, block to the top if you have them. Plant the palms, tuck the right toe, lift the right knee, step it back to plank. And then inhale, glide this forward. We lower down halfway, chaturanga, upward facing dog. We inhale and down dog, exhale. Good morning, good morning. Let's lift those heels and come up onto those little finger pads. Let's tippy toe all the way to the top of the mat. And I want the big toes touched. No, I lied. Let's take our feet hip distance. Keep those heels lifted and then just little pedals out with the knee. And then drop the hands down. Shake the head yes and no. Inhale, we find halfway lift as the legs straighten. Lean in now, squeeze those shoulder blades together for me. Lean into your toes, my darling. Exhale, release. Let's take that again. Ardha Uttanasana. Just find that slow movement, maybe closing your eyes. And exhale, let it go. And let's rise it up, Utita Hasta, all the way to the top. My head's chopped off there. Beautiful. Palms touch. Now reach those fingertips up even further. Let's take that little back bend here. Now bring that belly in, deep breath. Exhale, we cast it. Now those feet are hip distance. Grab onto that left wrist. Let's take it up and over. Back to center. Open and breathe. Arms extend. Let's sweep those palms behind that right thumb on top. Draw the fist down. Yeah, open in those pecs. And then let's rock ball mounted heels. 
and then lift all 10 toes and fan them down one toe at a time. Now draw those fists down slowly, gaze up, look up, and then hinge forward, forward fold. Now keep the left leg straight, bend the right knee, drop that right shoulder down. Back to center, squeeze those palms, and exhale, takes it over towards the left. Back to center, let's release the hands down. This time I want you to sit back. Lift those toes, now grab opposite elbows and sway as we're in this little modified chair pose. Shaking the head yes and no. And then release the hands down, heavy arms. Let's stack it up this time, one bone at a time. Those gorgeous little heads are last to rise and then we meet with big shoulder shrugs up and down. And then we find that breath all together, palms touch, let's extend those index fingers up and then take that back then. Back to center, we breathe, we open with that cactus. Arms extend, left wrist we grab onto and we take it over. Back to center, slow breath here, opens it up. Palms connect, my darlings, close your eyes, forward, fold. And let's take that again. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. I want to feel that energy of those long spines and exhale, let it go. Let's root to rise, my darlings, breathe in deeply, arms up to the top. Let's take that exhale, cactus, and then arms extend, sweep the palms behind, left thumb on top this time. Now draw it down. Look up, gaze up, dip the head back, and then fold, fold all the way down. And this time we bend that left knee to that left shoulder. That's what it's called. Back to center. Take it over to the right. Release the hands down. We need halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Let's bend the knees, plant the palms, step it back to plank. And then the inhale takes us forward. We lower down. We flip upward facing dog to downward facing dog. And let's look to the top of the mat. We travel to the top, tippy toe up. If you feel you need to give those hamstrings a little love today. And then exhale, drop it down. Let's rise that up again. Pizza has to all the way. Simple, one more little dim, beautiful sun A. Open and breathe. Palms connect. Eyes closed, take it down all the way. Feeling every sensation in your body, halfway lift, jump back, step back to plank. I meet you in Adam Luka. To downward facing dog. Let's look to the top, make it to the top, jump, skip, or hop. And let's zip those little legs together. If you do have hip issues, we know this. We place that block in between our thighs. And let's let that head go. Let's come up halfway lift and exhale forward fold. And let's wrap those forearms behind our calves and take that a little deeper. Let the head go. Yes and no. And then release the hands down halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. And we let it go. And let's sit back into our chair, booty time, booty time. Arms extend up. Now I want everyone to take their arms really wide today. Now pull your shoulders down. Slow breath here. On the exhale, sweep it behind. We come into that diver pose. Let's just give me some little pulses down and down, down and down for three, two, and one, now open those arms back up. Keep those heels lifted, separate the knees. Little pulses in, in. Let's go see those legs shaking, yes. Just for three, two, and one. Bring the knees together, drop the heels, sweep the arms behind, so now we're chair flat. But I want those toes lifted. I want you to push the booties back two inches and bend down. Slow breath here, arms reach up. Let's take that vertical twist. Get it down a little more. Back to center. Cactus out the arms. Now extend the arms up. I want to get into that upper back. See out the arms. Wrap that right elbow under the left. Feel the palm. 
Now, if you're tight in your shoulders, do this. But give me those elbows. I know it's burning. I told you we're holding these a little longer today. Now squeeze the shoulder blades down the back. One more breath here. Release the bind. Forward, forward. Let's it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees. I meet you in downward facing dog. Whether you choose these vinyasas or not, Adha Mukha is our end point. And let's have a little check in with our breath. Slow breath in. Ah, and everyone lift your heels and then draw your chest closer to your thighs as you bend those knees. And I want you to really retract the shoulder blades down the back and slow shake now. And then soften those legs down. That right leg lifts. We bring it through slowly knee to nose. And then up and back. Let's take it over to the right tricep. Up and back. Take it over to the left tricep. Now pause here. Plant that right hand down firmly. Kick that right foot out. We land on the knife edge. And then we roll into the inner arch of that left foot. Left arm reaches up. And let's all take that big sweep. So left bicep on the ear. Gorgeous. Deep breath here. Sweep the left hand down. Rebend that right knee. Take it up and back to legs. And then knee to nose. Push, push away. Let's step through. Low lunge. All into these twists today. Let's plant that left hand down. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Slow breath here. Now sweep it down. Pivot that left foot to 45. Now look at your feet. Your heel to heel. You know I don't like that in the hip. Move that right foot over two inches. Now I want you to mindfully feel that little connection of that pinky side of that left foot into the earth. Squeeze that left glute. Now pull that left hip forward for me. Hands on the hip as we kind of lean forward, starting to fire up that right quad. And then the right arm extends, then the left, and then we rise it up. Warrior one. Now pull those hips forward. Sink down. Keep that bend in that right knee. Arms up. Let's take that little cast as we open. And then arms extend. Let's sweep the hands behind. I want to take, draw the fist directly down and then bend into your elbows. Bring them over towards your waist as you pin those elbows back. And maybe it's calling to you to gaze up to play with your balance a little bit. If your head is back, bring it back to center. Draw those fists down, release it, open up. And then I meet you with those teed arms. And gently wrap that right elbow under the left creating the Gyarados and the arms, finding that focus. Now, are you losing? Squeeze that left glute for me. We're here for one big breath. And then on the inhale, reach those fingertips up. Maybe you dip back as you take that back bend and then we slowly tumble it down with our Gyarados and a bind. Really pull, pull, pull that right hip. A lot going on the leg. One more breath. Release the hands to frame the foot. Step it back to plank and take it home, my love. Down dog is where we meet. Slow breath in. Audible exhale. Ha. Let's look to the top. Travel to the top. Jump, skip, or hop. As we zip those legs together, make those modifications for the hips. But I want everyone to lean into those fingertips. Come up onto your heels. So all the pressure leaning in, but at the same time, push your booty up to the sky. Now let's take those little marches down. Left heel and right. Now ground both heels down. Inhale, we meet halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale is our full fold. And let's sit back, sit low, chair pose. Get those little booties there. Just check in the comments here. Separate those arms, those pinkies. I want spiral towards me. Yeah, yeah, you hate me for holding it. So breath here. Let's come into that diver pose. Roll those shoulders, squeeze them for me. We pulse it down. And down, down, and down. For three, two, and one. Now extend those arms up, keep those heels lifted. We separate the knees and down as well. Oh yeah, little ballet bar here. 
You guys got this. For three, two, and one. Pause, pulse it out. Out, 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 out. Three, two, one. Close the knees, drop the hips, push it back. And then arms up. Vertical twist over towards the left. Lift those toes, don't drop them. Back up to center, arms tee up. Left elbow under the right, feeling those palms together. Draw those elbows towards me. Lift those fingertips and sit down further, further, further. Release it down, hold, hold. Halfway lift. Let's take it home. And bring out the time. And we lift that left leg. We bring it to knee to nose. Press the earth away. And then up and back. Left knee, left tricep. Up and back. We make it left knee, right tricep. Then extend. Left hand plant. Right arm reaches up to the sky. And let's sweep that right arm up and over. Feel those little rib cage open a bit more. One more breath. And then exhale, sweeps it down. Left leg lifts up and back. As we bring it through, knee to nose. We step through, ground down that inner arch of that right foot and move that left foot over two inches, my darlings. Now from the ground up, I want that right arch to pop. I want you to squeeze that little right glute. Pull that left hip back. One hand out, then the other, and then we rock. And maybe we manually adjust because you know I want those frontal hip points facing your mat. I don't want this. I want this. And then arms up. Open and cactus and breathe. Arms extend. Let's sweep those hands behind. Left thumb on top. Draw it down first and then bend into the elbow. Take it over into that left uh, waist. That's what it's called. And then gaze up, look up. Now bring your belly in. That's going to help with your balance if your head is tipped back. Gently cervical spine releases. Draw those fists down. Maybe you gaze up here. And then release. Arms reach up. We take that beautiful cactus as we lean. Arms extend. Let's reach out the arm. Left elbow under the right. Taking that Gyaradas in a bind. Pausing for a moment. Making sure those legs are engaged. Pull those elbows. Lift up. Breathe up. Take this back bend. And then slowly humble it down in your warrior. Can you let the head go? Release the hands down, my darlings. Take it home as we step it back to plank, as we glide it home. Upward facing dog, the inhale. And down dog, the exhale. Child's pose, take a little break, grab a sip of water. And then slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's meet me back in that tabletop pose. We tuck our toes, downward facing dog. Let's take a moment just to pedal, right and left. And then plant your left palm down. Take your right hand and grab onto that left ankle. Look onto that left armpit. Can you feel those heels down even further? And then re- Turn that right hand back. Take the left hand, right ankle, look under. And then back to center, slow breath here. Let's look to the top of the mat. We travel to the top. Jump, skip, or hop. And we take our little halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Let's rise it up slowly with intention. Long, straight back, all the way up. Palms touch, we take that back bend and we immediately go into our forward fold. Inhale, we find that halfway lift. Let's relax, we grab onto those calves, take it a little further. Then release it down. Let's take our halfway lift. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step it to plank. Maybe you start to challenge yourself to jump back into chaturanga arm. The inhale glides us forward, we lower down. Upward facing dog, that inhale. And down dog, the exhale. Let's lift that right leg up. 
Now pull that left hip, that left heel down to the mat. We bring it through knee to nose. Let's take it up and back. Two more times, just like that. Knee to nose and really dome. And then last time, knee to nose, we pause. We step it through the lunge. Let's take that nice little twist. Let's come up on to our big fingertips. Those little fingertips on the left side. Right arm reaches up. And let's take some big motions with that right arm, just getting into that whole big messy little shoulder joint and all the fascia that goes in there. Now sweep it down, ground down through your fingertips, bend your left knee slightly, and we rise up into our crescent pose. Finding your stability, knowing that all of our balance varies day by day. But pull, pull that tailbone slightly under, bend that left knee even more. Deep breath here as we cast this, we open. Imagine we have that little ball here. So let's take it back and back up. Take it back and up. Last one and open. Now breath here, we take that cactus. It's not a morning with streets unless we have our crescent sweep. Sweep it back and lean it forward. Feel that little right quad start to burn. Come up onto that left toe, almost so you could hinge. And then we bend and we rise. Slow breath here and slow breath out. Now let's cactus out these arms. Your inhale, we twist to the right. Exhale to center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, out. Inhale, out. Just get those obliques for three, two, and one. Let's re-sweep those arms in front as you feel that power. Lean back, lean back, lean back. Hands frame the foot. Step it back to plank and let's pop. Drop your heels towards the right. Stack tight ropes or come down to that right knee. We come into our Vashi Stasana. But I want everyone to mind you bring that tailbone under. Sweep that arm up and over. Beautiful, really reach those left fingertips. I want you to push into that palm so you rainbow those hips even more. Now sweep it down, plank pose. Vinyasa. Down dog. Left leg lifts gently. Pull that right heel down. Knee to nose. Takes it up. Let's take that again. Knee to nose. Back up again. And then knee to nose. Let's step it through low lunge. Take that side twist. Left arm reaches up as we take those big circles all the way. And then plant it down. Find that security in your feet. Bend into that right knee and let's rise it up our crescent pose. Let's grab that ball. Slow breath here and out. On the inhale, lean back. Back to center. Take that ball back and back to center. Two more. And up. Last one. Bring it up. Let's open and breathe. Cactus it out. Arms extend. Sweep the hands behind. Let's come into that little crescent and fly. Lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. We come back up. Press and pose. We make those little, little cactus. Breath here, exhale, opposite direction. Inhale and exhale. And the reason I switched it is because on the right side, we breathe into the liver first. Let's take this for two more times. And one. Arms sweep up in front, really feel that breath as you open the heart space. Lean back, lean back. Take it home, my darling. I meet you in Adha Mukha. Downward facing dog. Let's stay here for a big breath. You know me, I want to make some sound. Slow breath in. Exhale. Ah, let it release. And that right leg lift. Let's bring it through knee to nose. We stay through the lunge. Gently rising up into our crescent pose. Open and breathe in cactus. Arms extend, and switch it this way. Splash it open into a warrior two. 
and then reach those fingertips forward. All about having that ball, that shape today. So wrap that right arm under, left arm on top. And on the inhale, we lean back as we rotate the arm. And then exhale, we move forward. Yes, there you go. Rotate that big globe, that ball, just stirring up the energy, balancing it out. Have you lost connection in that left foot? Squeeze that left glute for me. Last one, let's reverse it out. Now draw those left fingertips down that left thigh, bend into that right knee. Keep reaching, my darling. And let's sweep it up into a star pose, peeled into a back. And we are all beautiful goddesses. Let's take it down to our goddess and move hips a little left and a little right. And then hands on the knees. Let's roll the shoulders down and back. And let's just get into these shoulders here. Really pull those knees apart. Takes it in the opposite direction. Back to center. Ground down through the heels and then rise it up. Start close. Grab onto those palms and then lean back slightly. Return the spine, hands on your hips and let's parallel those toes and roll onto the pinky side of your feet. And then lengthen, find that length, spine long, let it go forward, fold, cross the Rita. Now the palms, find the mat, the head lets go. Like a little pendulum, just let it swim. And I want you to really feel the inner arches pop out. Rise up onto your fingertips. Lean into your toes. I do want your heels to hover. So push, exaggerate, tailbone up to the sky. And then exhale, fold. Let's grab both hands onto that right ankle. Breath in and then draw your forehead down a little further. And then return back to center. We meet in that halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. And then parallel the right toes to the upper corner of the mat. Bend into that right knee as you spiral those left toes up to the sky, palms on the earth or at heart center, from Dostana pose. But I really want you to feel that external rotation in the left hip bone. So maybe you manually adjust that. That's what I want. Deep breath here. Let's come back to center across the Rita, toes are parallel. We lift it up halfway lift. And then bend into that right knee, follow your hands. I meet you back in that low lunge. Plant the palms, left leg lift, standing split. We rise up halfway. And then exhale, we melt it down. Let's take that one more time. Halfway lift. And exhale, drop the left foot to meet the right. Shake the head a little yes and a little no. Inhale, we find halfway lift. Let's bend the knees, plant the palms, take it home, my darling. Adha Mukha, last side. Slow breath in. Slow, beautiful breath out. We lift that left leg up. Knee to toe. Step it through low lunge. Let's take that twist all the way up. And then sweep the hand down. Bend that right knee, rise up into our crescent pose. And just pull that right hip forward for me. Bring that tailbone, scoop that tailbone under. Deep breath here, let's take a little cactus. Arms extend, we splash open, warrior two. And let's settle into this. I want that activation in the biceps and triceps. So you're pressing down, you're really pressing down. And then we rock. That left arm under, like you're holding a big furry puppy and then the top. And then an inhale, reverse it out. And then exhale, move it down. Beautiful work in the obliques. A lot of this. And also, with all of this twist and these openings today, we're creating more space for us to breathe. Last two little rotations with our imaginary ball. And then on the last one, Reverse it out. I want you to mindfully take those right fingertips all the way down. Reach the left arm up and over. Here's where we make that change. Start pose. When we take it back down to our goddess, this time we just sway a little right and sway a little left. 
and then start to heel toe your feet in just a bit. And then maybe you sit down into your little, little malasana yogi pose. Just an option. One more breath here. Pull those shoulders apart. Now plant the palms. Let's re-extend the legs. Heel toe the feet back out in star pose. And let's rise up straight back all the way up. We bring our hands to our hips. Those toes come towards the front. Squeeze it all in. This is also an inner thigh stretch. So that's why it's really important to really focus on grounding down through the pinky side. Deep breath here. Exhale. Let's go. What do we do with that head? We say no, no, no. We let that stress and tension out. Let's come up halfway lift. Heels hover. Exhale. Let's it go. Let's grab on with both hands to that left ankle. Feel that breath and then exhale. Take it a little further. And we take it back to center. We find that halfway lift. Down it go. Angle those left toes. Bend the left knee. Spiral the right toes up to the sky. Gandasana left side. And again, externally rotate. Really pull that right hip bone out. One more breath. We come back to center. We take our halfway lift. And then we crawl to the top of the mat. Standing split, right leg lift. And then come up halfway lift. Exhale, melt it down. Last time, halfway lift. And then the right foot drops to meet the left. Halfway lift. Exhale, go. Let's root to rise, my darlings, your last sannyasana all the way to the top. Up. Palms connect really deep in that back bend on this round and then close the eyes as you forward fold all the way down. That inhale, we lift. Take it home, my darling. Your last vinyasa. Down dog. Child pose. We have arrived. Rock the forehead a little left. Rock the forehead a little right. Just feeling the breath move through your body. Keep breathing. Deep breath here. Walk your hands over towards the right. Stack that left palm. Is your heavy, heavy, heavy into that left sit bone. One more breath. Exhale, takes it back. Now press into those finger pads. I want the forearms to lift off the mat. Forehead lifts off the mat. We pull the shoulder blades down. And then slowly melt your heart down, your forehead, your forearm. Take that deep breath and walk your hands over towards the left. Really grounding down and breathing through. Back to center. Come back in. Join the knees together. And I want everyone to be sitting up onto their heels. And now tuck your toes first. I know that's that little toe stretch. And then come up. We're standing on our knees. Toes are tucked. Take your hands, fingertips face down onto your sacrum. And I want you to really squeeze those shoulder, those little elbows together. And imagine there's a little string holding them together. Bring your belly in. Now I want you to start to really squeeze your glutes to protect the lower spine. We start to gaze up, look back. Maybe you hinge back, and this is a beautiful place to stay. Otherwise, we find our heels as we come into our camel pose, preparing for all these back buttons. This is our peak posture today. Let the head go. Now, your belly is exposed, your heart, your throat. A lot of emotions will rush through here. Just follow them. Anything bad, you let go. One more breath here. Gently return your head. Right hand on your sacrum, then your left. Release the toes. Big toes touch, knees apart, child's pose. That gets a lot in those lower backs. And let's join our knees. Sit up gently, palms on our thighs. And let's give a little love to that neck one more time all the way around. And then reverse it out. Let's sit off to one side. 
extend those legs out long in front, more to like a V today, I would say. And then ground the fingertips down, nice long side, and then just start to forward fold. Letting the head go. If you have blocks, maybe you find those blocks under the forearms. Everything's heavy, but I still want a little yang activity here. So I want those kneecaps and toes pointed up to the sky. And let's come up halfway lift, and then exhale, melt it down a little further. And slowly shake the head, yes and no. And slowly start to feel those little QMLs on the lumbar spine release with every breath and let's gently walk ourselves upright relax the toes to this one and let's take our right heel i mean right sole of the foot into the left inner thigh manually just ground down your hips telling your body keep it right here arms reach up we take that little cactus of course and then the arms extend twist and rotate towards that left knee and then forward fold down now, palms on the mat. I want you to pull that right shoulder down. That's going to deepen that twist. Option to draw those toes towards your face. Give your hamstrings a little bit more love. Shake it, shake it, shake it. No. Shake the head, yes. Ground down through the palms, straighten the arms, find the length on the inhale, and the exhale takes it down a little further. And now cross your right palm next to your left ankle. Left hand finds your sacrum and just take that little twist here. And then return both hands down to frame the calf. Gently walk it up. Release the right legs and that's just little inside out, little windshield wipers with those heels. And then left sole of the foot in the right. Taking that grounding down. Grounding from the tailbone. Close the eyes as the arms rise up. Exhale. Practice it out. Extend. Twist and rotate. Forward fold over the right knee. Just really pull that left shoulder down. Flex the toes if that's calling to you. Let the head go. And let's rise up halfway lift. And then exhale, melt it back down. Cross that left palm near that right ankle. Right hand finds your sacrum. We take that little twist here. And then we release it out. We stack, we rise, we extend the legs. We give them those little shakes, roll the heels right and left. And then, darling, bring the knees together, soles of the feet on the earth. Let's take this home, rolling it down all the way. And draw your knees into your chest when we get there. Let's take my yummy favorite little egg beaters. Two directions, one way. And then reverses it out. And let's drop the soles of the feet on the mat. Knees pointed up, cross that left ankle on top of the right. And then take your left palm in, the, in, in your inner thigh, left thigh. And I want you to guide it down so much that your left arm is straight. Feel that right there. Feel that equal length through the side body. Now to deepen that stretch, we can interlace the hands behind the left thigh as you draw that right knee in. But I want you to take that left hand and still guide that left knee down further. Nice little modified figure four. Left arm is straight, eyes are closed. Release any ujjayi breath. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. And then release the hand. Cross that left knee, drape that left knee on top of the right. And then tee out the arms, palms face down, and then drop the knees over towards the right. Option to release the spine and just stack the knees. But I want you to bring those knees in a little closer. And now this time I do want that left shoulder on the mat, anchored down. Knees heavy to the earth. 
feeling that beautiful stretch. And with this bind, we start to get into that piriformis, that glute muscle as well. Deep breath in. Set your intention for the day, your attitude for the day, and let it go. Feel it in right here, right now. One more breath. Ground those palms into the earth, and the exhale brings your knees back to center. Release the bind, hands on shins, little sacral release, right and left. And then soles of the feet on the mat, right ankle on top of left. Let's guide it down, right palm inside, straighten that right arm. And then take it a little deeper. Guiding that right knee down, even if you have to literally guide it down, this is what I want. Not so much about bringing that left knee in, it's finding that space in the right hip joint. One more breath here. Sigh it out. <sighs> Let's gently drape that left knee on top. Tee out the arms, palms down, drop them towards the left, and then bring those knees in tight, my darling. Connect that right shoulder towards the mat. Slow in. Knees are getting heavier. Take a deep breath in, back to center, release the bind, my darling, bring your forehead to your knees. Grab the soles of the feet, you breathe it in, breathe in that intention, that love, that power, and that strength in your exhale. We extend the legs long, the feet are open, palms open to receive, palms facing down. You have arrived, my love, I will guide you out when it's time. We could start to wiggle our fingers and toes. Maybe rolling the wrists, crunching the toes and the fingers. Taking that beautiful inhale as you point your toes, arms reach, create that arch, arch, arch. And without thinking, we always place one hand on our stomach and one hand on our heart. Show that appreciation. The beauty and the light beneath these palms. And gently, darling, draw your knees to your chest. Roll onto that right side, feeling off the practice of this new beginning, this new start. Beautiful way to start the day, sharing all of your gorgeous energy. And let's press ourselves up to cross up. Easy seated pose. Keeping those eyes lazy and closed and let the head go all the way around one more time. And then reversing it out. And then take a deep breath in. My love, sigh it out. Ah. Next inhale, we extend those arms up to the heavens. We pull down that energy as in a prayer pose as we bring it to our heart today. Thank you, my love. It is my honor to guide you through your practice today and every day. I miss you all. So much, my heart to yours. Namaste. Have a beautiful week. I'll be doing yin Sunday for my lovely abode, and Tuesday 7:30 a.m. and Thursdays at eight.